everybody it's Jenny from that ed so the next procedure <clears throat> I'd like to go over with you guys is how to make an unoccupied bed an unoccupied bed is a bed made while the resident is not in the bed so when you do your initial steps ask your nurse about your resident's needs abilities and limitations and sometimes we can gather our supplies before we go into the room so in this scenario Mrs. Smith is at lunch and the nurse has told me to go make her bed so I gather up my supplies before I go into the room. So I've got my fitted sheet, my top sheet, my blanket, and my pillowcase. I'm holding them away from my body. I'm still going to knock on the door, wait for permission to enter. I'm going to identify myself by name and title, call the resident by the name they prefer, and explain my procedure. I've already found and gathered my supplies. I can place them in three different spots. So your clean areas of the room. We have the overbed table, and we call it that because it can go over the bed. We also have the bedside stand, which would be that little dresser sitting next to their bed, or the back or the top of the chair. I provided for privacy. I'm going to wash my hands, wear gloves for body fluids, and use good body mechanics. So to make an unoccupied bed, I've got my linens in order of use. So fitted sheet, top sheet, blanket, then pillowcase. My bed is flat. I'm going to raise it up to my waist. First thing I'm going to do is remove the pillowcase. Hold the pillow away from your body. Roll the pillowcase off. The pillow is clean, the pillowcase is dirty. Foot of the bed is a dirty spot, back of the chair is a clean spot. Loosen your linens, push them to the center of the bed. And then roll them from the head to the foot. Don't touch your clothing. Take your linen bag. You can put your linen bag at the foot of the bed, but since I'm making the bed, I'm going to put it in the seat of the chair. Nothing goes on the floor but your feet. to the foot of the bed, which is just state's way of saying unfold, don't fling. We can't fling because of infection control. To touch our bodies, if there's any pathogens in the sheets, we're putting them all over the air. So just place your linens on the bed and unfold them. We're going to make half of the bed lengthwise. So I'm going to unfold my fitted sheet, fit the corners. It goes down next. Again, unfold.
and then you need to make a mitered corner on this side before going to the other side. We miter the corners this way when they go to slide out of bed, the corner will guide their feet to the floor and their feet don't get tangled up in the sheets. So to make a miter corner, you're gonna wrap it under the foot first. So take the shaky blanket under the foot, You're going to pinch the sheet and blanket, bring it up tight, aiming for that corner. Just bring that up tight. Tuck this under the corner around. And then drop. And then this way, when your residents would go to get up, their feet will be guided to the floor. So that's the purpose of a miter corner. Now we go to the other side of the bed to finish. your corner on this side, same way. Tuck it under the foot first. Pinch your sheet and blanket, bring it up toward that corner. Tuck the excess under and drop. Fold the cuff back. Now to how to put on a pillowcase so you don't have to hold it up against your body. Open up the pillowcase and turn it completely inside out. Place your hand back into the pillowcase. Grab the clean pillow at the narrow end and just pull it over with your free hand. So grab it with the pillowcase that has the, the hand that has the pillowcase over it, and then pull it over. And the opening of the pillow always goes away from the door. Now, depending on your resident's needs will depend on whether you make an open bed or a closed bed. If you want to make a closed bed, we bring the sheet and the blanket up over the pillow. With that nice little crease there underneath the pillow. And then we're going to loosen up the linens at the foot of the bed so they don't get any sores on the tops of their feet. That's a closed bed. So if your resident is up for the day, a lot of our facilities like us to make the bed closed. If your resident is up for a short amount of time, you can make an open bed. For an open bed, grab the sheet and the blanket, walk it down to the foot of the bed, bringing the top edge closest to the center of the bed. And then make sure you loosen up the linens at the foot so they don't get sore. Put your bed back down in the lowest position. You want to carry the linens out of the room. Don't touch them to your uniform or clothing. Come back and do your final step. A, check a line and make sure they're comfortable. B, make sure the bed is in the lowest position. 
C, make sure they have their call light and water within reach. D, ask them if there's anything else they need. And E, everybody likes a thank you, so thank your resident. F and G, find and gather your supplies, clean them to company or facility policy. H, ask them how they want their curtains, open or close. And then I, your way out the door. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to do a visual safety check of my resident and environment. Report unexpected findings to my nurse and document. Thanks for watching.